Hello everybody, it's Miss Masa here. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm super happy that we get to continue doing some artwork together, even if you're at your house and I'm at mine. I am going to be putting together lots of YouTube videos for you all to see. Some of them will include books, some of them will talk about some special artists, and it'll just sort of continue uh, giving you ideas of what you can do. I would love to see what you're working on at home, so please have your parents share with me uh, your artwork either based on the videos or something that you've done completely on your own. Here's our first one. Today we are going to continue our conversation about Henri Matisse. He was a French artist and he loved to create using his scissors to cut out different shapes and create these beautiful collages. He also loved to paint and one of his all-time uh, greatest paintings is called The Goldfish. And here's an image of what it looks like. Now take a moment and notice all the things that are happening in that picture. Take a look at what our eye goes to, what's happening, and the things that he decided to use to fill up the space in his background. Now the first thing that I noticed is this beautiful fishbowl that he has going on right here. And it has sort of this interesting shape up top. And Take a look and see if you can figure out what it looks like. It's close to a circle, but it's actually a little longer, and it's known as an oval. And then it has these beautiful lines that go all the way down from the top to the bottom. And then something interesting happens down here, because instead of going straight across to create that fishbowl, he sort of rounds it out, right? And you can see the goldfish inside. It looks like it's on a table. There's a couple plants on there. And by the looks of it, I think it's a pretty fair guess that Henry Matisse loved plants because not only did he have them on the table, but all around on his painting. Great, now that we have our paper and our pencil, we are going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to turn my paper around and do the first thing that I always do. Write my name, oh, I already wrote my name. Miss Meza on the back in the corner, just in case you need the other side. And I'm gonna flip it over. And I am going to start sketching out a fishbowl inspired by Henry Matisse's goldfish that we just saw. So in that picture that we just looked at, he had a very interesting shape to start off the top of the fishbowl. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to sketch that shape. It wasn't quite a circle, it was a little longer, so I'm going to try my best. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I am going to sketch out a nice big oval to make sure that my fishbowl is nice and big and the center of sort of my picture that I'm creating. I'm also holding my paper the tall vertical way to make sure that I have enough room to create that really tall cylinder shape that Henry Matisse used for his fishbowl. If you want to create a different kind of fishbowl and you think it'll work better the flat horizontal way, totally up to you. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the sides of my fishbowl and I'm going to make it nice and tall. So I'm going to go ahead from one end of this oval, sort of bring it down like that. The longer I make it, the taller it's going to get. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, kind of like that. Now, see if you can remember sort of what Henry Matisse did for his fish fishbowl's bottom, because he didn't go straight across just like that, right? That wouldn't really look right. And Henry Matisse was very focused on sort of creating a very round and three-dimensional look. So we're gonna do the same. And instead of going straight across with a line to connect our fishbowl, we are going to round it out, kind of like that, right? Now our fishbowl's floating in outer space somewhere. So we wanna make sure that we add a little table in the background. I'm gonna do a flat table. Henry Matisse did a round table. Totally up to you on what kind of table you wanna have. And then we definitely need to add something inside our fishbowl. Now you might wanna have a fish uh, sort of the way that Henry Matisse did. You can draw your fish whatever way. I'm just gonna do a quick little, maybe kind of like this, a little tail, right? Can't forget about the lips. Nice little smile little eye, kind of like that. Not forget about the fins there, down here, and maybe I'll add a couple more friends later on. I might even fee feel a little silly and want to do a little hat on it. Totally up to you on what you want to do on your fish, right? 
definitely want something else happening in there. So maybe there's some plants growing in there. Maybe there's a little castle. Maybe there's a little crab in there or a couple pebbles. Sometimes there's these little pebbles inside fish bowls. Up to you on what you want to add. Definitely need some water. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little wavy line to represent the water that's in there, right? Now I've spent some time working on the inside of my fishbowl, but I definitely want to think about what else could be on my table, right? In Henry Matisse's painting, we saw that he was really into plants. So he decided to include plants on his table. Maybe you're really into art. Maybe you're really into music. Whatever it is that you're into, please make sure that you add something to your table so it doesn't look blank and boring. I think I might do like a little paintbrush over here uh, just to signify how much I really enjoy art, kind of like that, right? Cannot forget about my background. So it could be designs. It could have things that you love. I was very inspired by Henry Matisse. He had these beautiful, large leaves on his background. So I'm going to go ahead and be inspired by him and create some of those leaves as well. Maybe you're really into designs and you want to add some polka dots to your background or zigzags or a splash of paint or something. Totally up to you, but please do not leave it blank.